Meantime, related news, thousands of migrant teens have arrived at the convention center in downtown Dallas. But the big question tonight is how the federal government will keep them all safe. News Nation's Marky Martin joining us live from Dallas again tonight with more on this. Marky. Good evening, Rob. Yeah, once again today, inside access was denied to our crew. Even basic information just about the children's well-being is being kept private at this time. But late this afternoon, HHS did confirm with News Nation that the first 200 unaccompanied minors did arrive here late last night. And it was actually just a couple hours after we got off air with you that those first buses arrived. These are the first images of arrival, the initial wave of about 3,000 unaccompanied minors pulling into downtown Dallas on charter buses late Wednesday night. Thursday morning, main entrances were blocked off, these traffic cones lining the curbside. Our crew tried to approach the building a couple of times. Everyone referred us to HHS. We spoke with Domingo Garcia. He's the national president of the League of United Latin American Citizens in Dallas. Not even he has been granted access access to the boys. Yeah, I am concerned. I mean, the fact of the matter is, I think we can help these children, we can connect, and our volunteers, a lot of them are mothers and grandmothers, but FEMA is in charge. News Nation reached out to the organizations working in tandem to provide for the children, including FEMA, Catholic Charities, and the Red Cross, all declined to interview. Red Cross sending us a statement that partly read this. As a neutral and impartial humanitarian organization charged to alleviate human suffering, the American Red Cross is currently helping meet basic needs of unaccompanied children in Texas until they can connect with a relative or sponsor here in the United States. And they're 2,000 miles from home. Uh, some of them have been on the top of a rail car for a week trying to get to the border. Many of them have been through all kinds of hardship from hunger to sometimes abuse at, at the hands of smugglers. And therefore, they need uh, time to just get food, get shelter, uh, get clothes, and then orient themselves as to what their rights are so they can pursue their uh, asylum cases. And today, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy placing blame on Biden for igniting the surge, calling on the president to address the situation. The president denies the right to even go there and denies the right of press to even cover it. And he said in his own words, while he was running for president in a presidential campaign, illegal immigrants should surge the border. That's exactly what's happening, and that's why. Although he has yet to be given access, Garcia said what's happening on the inside truly is a decompression center. The kids are being processed, checked for COVID. And the ultimate goal is to unite them with a guardian. And while he says he supports the Biden administration's approach to immigration more than Trump's, he says he disagrees with the White House assessment that this isn't a crisis. No, it's a humanitarian crisis. I've been to the border. President Trump stopped all legal immigration to the United States, and that built a backlog. And what you're seeing is that backlog started to come to the United States. I do believe President Biden needs to send a clear message. We don't have open borders. We have a legal process, and people need to follow the legal process to get into the country. And Mr. Garcia also sharing with me today that this convention center is not the only facility being considered for shelter. He said that city leaders, local officials are also looking at an old Dallas Walmart that would house and shelter about 400 additional unaccompanied minors. And as you saw in the story, and as I aforementioned, you know, getting people to talk about this has been really hard. Just now we're standing in the parking lot. We're watching Red Cross volunteers leave their shift for the day. We've stopped a handful of them uh, over the past three days. All of them have just said we have been told not to comment at this time. Reporting live in Dallas tonight, Marky Martin, News Nation.